On this Good Friday, we remember the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. One of the ways that we remember it, as we have throughout Lent, is the Stations of the Cross. They are like a kind of passion play for us. I had the pleasure once of seeing a passion play in Eureka Springs in Arkansas. It was well performed and particularly moving. There is something about seeing the passion of our Lord played out before us that can evoke great emotions. Even the proclamation of the passion as we just did can recall to our hearts and minds the immense love of Christ for us. That he, the Son of God, would endure such for our sake is almost too much for us to comprehend. Even today, in the midst of our own suffering, we can place our burdens upon him. For, as the scripture says, it was our infirmities that he bore, our sufferings that he endured. Most certainly, this means that Jesus took our sins upon himself, but also that he, the Son of God, understands our suffering because he himself suffered. We often suffer as a consequence of sin, but not always. But Jesus was innocent of any sin and yet was condemned unjustly to his sufferings. As the letter to the Hebrews says, we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our poor weaknesses, but one who has similarly been tested in every way yet without sin. This has been a difficult year for us, for the whole world. A half a million deaths in the U.S. alone due to COVID, almost three million worldwide. Civil unrest, violence, injustice, natural calamities, and now a crisis at our borders. This very day, Catholic Charities is responding to 500 unaccompanied, unaccompanied immigrant children who, are, who were transported to Houston. FEMA has set up an emergency shelter and asked for volunteers. Time and time again, we see the sins of the world heaped upon the innocent. Another smaller version of a passion play is also in our Stations of the Cross. I thought about how beautiful our stations are in the church, and then I thought about the important meaning of each station. They are not just commemorations of the events that happened to Jesus on the road to Calvary. They are also reminders to us First, they remind us that we must pick up our cross and carry it along with Jesus, whatever that cross might be in our life. Second, they are also reminders of how we put crosses on others. We have had different groups in our parish offer different versions of the stations for us on the Fridays of Lent. Some are geared to our youth. Some chose the Liguri version. Several others chose the Divine Mercy stations. One thing common to them all is that they provide a way to focus on our own sinful behavior. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. It reminds us how quick we are to judge without knowing all the facts and circumstances, how we let our biases influence our judgments. The way they mocked Jesus before giving him the cross to carry it reminds all of us of the times we gather with friends or family or co-workers and gosh, gossip about someone else, make fun of them for their peculiarities. The falls of Jesus, the three falls, 
Remind us of how intolerant we are of others' falls or failings. We hold everyone else to the highest standards of perfection while granting ourselves leeway to fail many times. Veronica and Simon of Cyrene remind us of the many times we fail to show kindness or to help someone in need or even to stand up to someone who is being unjustly treated. Jesus, mother, and the women of Jerusalem remind us when we, of when we fail to notice others in pain, when we fail to offer a word of encouragement or consolation for someone who has lost a family member or someone important or dear to them. Jesus being stripped of his clothes and being nailed to the cross, an instrument of humiliation as well as pain, reminds us of the times we hold others up to public humiliation through social media most recently, or through our degradation of others of the opposite sex in the songs we listen to, the programs we watch, or in giving ourselves over to pornography. His death on the cross is the complacency we have in the death of others. Our continued allowance of abortion, of human trafficking, our disregard of our planet, our wars, and our weapons of mass destruction. And taking Jesus down from the cross and burying him in the tomb reminds us of how quickly we forget the dead, failing to remember them in our prayers, to visit their graves, or how we treat those nearing the end of their lives, failing to visit them or shutting them away in homes. These stations are beautiful, but you don't need these to remember the passion of our Lord. We have some nice ones outside as well, but you can even set some up in your own home, or you can pray the stations just by sitting in one place, calling them up on your phone or your computer, or you can walk them virtually with Pope Francis, with Cardinal DiNardo. You know, you don't even need to do it during Lent. You can unite yourselves at any times to the sufferings of Jesus on the cross. Anytime we remember how our own sinfulness causes others to suffer and we pledge ourselves to do better. Anytime we call upon the mercy of God is a moment of grace. And brothers and sisters, we need every such moment we can obtain. <laughs>